Welcome to Total Electronics. Today I would like to share with you on how to set this uh, Yuhaku MPPT series solar charger controller. Actually using the manual, it's very difficult to set this PTT charge controller. But when I went through it, I made a summary on a more easier way to set it. So to set this uh, uh, you have cool MPPT charge controller, solar charge controller. You must have to know your system voltage. Like in my case, I'm using a, a 48 volt system here. So before you set this, you will have to connect first the battery. So after you connect the battery, you set it before you now collect connect the solar uh, panels. So let me just though I've uh, set this one so I'll have to remove one and then set it again so initially when you are about to install this charge controller is like this you first connect the, the battery terminals this one has been connected is the negative this one is the positive so when you connect it wait for a second and to indicate so the 24 volt you are seeing here is the volt the default so you have to set this to the system voltage so my system voltage is 48 volt which means i'm using four batteries but i connected four batteries and, and, and an additional four batteries in car so i'm having eight batteries connected in car so to set this just click on this this is 24 volt but i'm having 48 volt i just click on this then you press the enter key for six seconds once the set that is blinking here yeah, stop blinking then you leave it now everything is set the second thing you are going to set now is the battery capacity the battery capacity i'm having each battery here is having 110 i mean 210 amps hour so i'm having a total of uh, eight batteries and i calculated this was approximately 1700 so to set this you go I press enter this is the one I set but to set it once you press set the default is 300 you see 300 here then you press this again so once this start blinking you now select to wherever you want it then you press enter that is done then totally totally is the charge procedure the charge procedure you still use this same place just click on on the, excuse me on the charge procedure click enter using this battery interface click enter then you are to navigate here then you see p this is the charge procedure in the manual you are being referred to 2p or 1p you can vary this thing here like this but for my case i put it on 2p and uh, the reason for putting it on 2p i will show you in the manual so in the manual you, you have this you can read it by yourself so we are being referred to we are being referred to details check technology parameters please so let's go to the technology parameters on page 11 you have the technology parameters so we have uh, the charging procedure here you have 1p and 2p so the one I selected was uh, 2p which is 48 volt so at boost charge I'm having a total voltage of 14.7 volt this is optional if you like you keep it here but in my case I'm using this thank you so after all these settings you now connect your solar connections so after this you connect your charge I mean your solar panel then you should see uh, after connecting your solar panel then you should see the solar 